Welcome to a day in my life. So this is the week that I don't have Gabby. So I like to start my mornings off with letting Nova practice brushing her teeth. I wash her face, but for some reason she was a little bit sassy. But again, she was more like a sweet and sour patch type of vibe. So I like to start off with asking her what does she want to wear for the day. And if you have a daughter, you know bows are a staple. During the morning, when I'm doing all of this for the girls, my husband, my son, I just go into this deep appreciation. Like, even the small moments like this of her running away from me while I'm trying to put her clothes on just creates so many memories that I cannot wait to cherish and share with my future grandkids. And even to her prom date, let's not even go all the way to her future kids. Let's just start with the prom date. Got a nice pretty bow on, of course, to seal the deal. And then, voila, breakfast is served for the hubby and the kiddos. And while they're eating, I like to go clean. So anytime I can have a smidge of a long time, and every mother and wife can agree, it just keeps some type of sanity. It just creates this special moment, but of course, the little one eventually comes in, and that's okay. So while the laundry is going, we head upstairs, we go to the playroom, hang out in there for a while, just playing with toys, learning a few alphabets. And then I sneak away just a little bit to get a little time to myself to make the bed to do the laundry and i always divide the laundry into three pals mine the girls and my husband marcus does his own laundry and then nobody has a lovey so that's our lovey so let's put away the laundry and now it's time to shower finally cleaning is done time to shower this is usually my alone time but not today someone wanted to join me and kind of intervene so i always deep scrub my body so i always like to fold it and i use my gloves and right before i get out i use my squeegee to squeeze away all the water and that leaves me time to brush my teeth so i have to return an order today from kirkland so we get dressed and it's time to head out but it is nap time so i knew she was going to fall asleep in the car and so of course i do a little bit of window shopping around it kirkland so by this point i'm starving so chick-fil-a it is so no this is not a part of my daily routine but i was hungry <laughs> so by the time we get home, I lay her down for nap. And during nap time, this is the chance that I get to check my emails and respond to brands, create a few content or at least content ideas. So I, I made two posts today on TikTok and Instagram. So I'm just going in to my DMs to respond to you all and also respond to you all in the comments. It is time to cook dinner so I always plan my dinner out for two weeks in advance so I just go into my planner read what exactly I'm going to cook for that day and so tonight we're having stuffed Simon macaroni and cheese bake to be exact and then I have some leftover mashed potatoes from the dinner before so while the pasta is boiling for the mac and cheese, I go in and open some PR packages. So the girls got two goodies on this go around. So they got a few dolls from two different companies, Healthy Roots and OG Dolls. And then I got some soap, some organic soap, and it smelled amazing. So of course, I can never do anything by myself life of a stay-at-home mom so nova comes in and she sees toys <laughs> after her nap time and she was so happy to see them all
So now that we're done, open the PR package. Now it's time to make the stuffing for the stuffed salmon. Finish the mac and cheese. So I always just use this time to myself to just really just self reflect. Like when I'm in the kitchen, that is really the only time that the kids know that they cannot come here at all because I'm like super paranoid about them being around hot stuff. So I just be in my zone and having a moment to myself to really just meditate on life and appreciate where I'm at in life at this point because I never thought that I would be here happy and it took a long time to get to this point a lot of praying a lot of meditation a lot of self-reflecting a lot of healing and I just appreciate it all because without the bad, how could you ever appreciate the good? Once dinner is complete, we stuff our face and then we have a little dance session right before bedtime because daddy is finally home from work. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bunch of hugs and kisses.